let's investigate the metaprogram reason sort. Have you ever wondered, why do I do or why do other people do what they do? We're going to be talking about the meta program or filter called the reason sort. The reason sort tells us the reason why someone does what they do. And generally speaking, contextually as well, we do something because either we want to or we have to. If we want to, this is known as the modal operator of possibility, and you will hear it in people's language. They'll say things like, I can, I want to, I desire. The modal operator of necessity is when we have to, we must, we should, we need. The modal operator of possibility and necessity come with us. And in different aspects of life might be a little bit different. There might be some things that you do because you can, you choose, you want to, and other things that you do because you have to. Now, a lot of times in the world, people are told, you, you should figure out modal operative necessity. You should figure out what you want to do because then it'll be much, much easier. I have to say, I probably agree. However, if a person has in this aspect of life, the modal operator of necessity, that's a driving factor for them. Even if they want to do something, they might not because they don't have to. Now, conversely, there are people who want to do things and they just do them because they want to. And other people who have to do things who they will not do those things because they want to have choice, which is that modal operator of possibility. So here I'm listening for how someone says it. Is it, I want to, I choose to, I desire to? Like not, not what I want, but what gets me to do it? What finally gets me to do something? Is it because I choose it? I want to, I desire it. There's a possibility for it. Or is it truly I do those things because I have to? When do you do your bank reconciliation? Do you do it at the end of the month because you can and you want to get it done? Or do you do it before the taxes are due because you have to get that done? When do you clear out your emails? Do you do it at the beginning of the day or the end of the day because that's when you want to? That's when you choose to have time for it? Or do you let your inbox like mine have 20,000 emails in there and you don't have to clean them out because it's a chore to do so? And if somebody ever said you have to, you'd be like, well, well why would I need to do that? And you just collect them all, put them in another folder, voila, you got a clean inbox. Why this is important is because as I'm communicating with someone, if I find out in a work context or home context that in a specific aspect, someone is more likely to do something because they want to and can, I want to make sure my language matches that. So I can ask questions, you know, what would you like to choose to start on today in order for us to reach our goal? What are the possibilities for you utilizing your time today to finish your homework. If I know, however, that someone is motivated, they're going to do their why they do what they're going to do is because they have to, they need to, I'm going to use it. What do you have to do today so that you make that appointment? What are your musts for today to allow you to get your homework done? What should you do to lose weight? If I say, what should you do? What must you do? What, what do you have to do to someone in that context who is modal operator possibility? They're going to back off from it going, don't tell me what to do. But those people that need that, they need that direction. They need that deadline. They must have an idea of what to do when today. Again, this is contextual, context specific, not behavioral, not personality. You might be more modal operator possibility in various areas of your life, but it does have the opportunity to change. Even in yourself, identify those things that you do easily. Do you do them because you can, you want to, you choose, or because you have to? One is not better than the other. I've heard people say everything should be towards. That's much more pleasant. Not necessarily. 
sometimes it's much better to have some things in that modal operator of necessity. There are some things that we only do because we have to do. Now, an interesting thing is if I'm working with someone who is an entrepreneur or a solopreneur, and they're trying to motivate themselves to do something, but there's not a lot of accountability, and they also have that modal operator of necessity, what do I have to do? If they have all the choice in the world, they might not actually be motivated to do what they want to do, do what they have to do. They might not be motivated to even do what they want to do. And they'll get frustrated and go, but I don't even have a boss. Nobody's telling me what to do. I have all this choice and all these possibilities, but I'm not getting anything done. How come? Most likely because in that moment, they need that modal operator of necessity and having an accountability coach or someone to help to spur and motivate them on the way to help them to drive towards what they have to, must, and should do. Have fun with this. Listen to the language people use, use people's language back, and get people to do what they want to do in the way they want to do it. Enjoy.